In this video, I want to take a look at question 5 from the 2017 paper. It's the U values question. To start off with, I'm going to just take a quick look through the question here. We see there's a single leaf wall, external render plasterboard just shown in the picture, and some of the details here are the sizes, and quickly looking at the size, what we have in the thermal data, the R's and the conductivity. Part B of the question is about upgrading the thermal properties, and we're given a new U value, which we have to achieve with this new wall. And the last part of the question then is the upgraded wall. We want to work out the cost of heat loss annually with all the information given here. Don't worry too much about this at this stage because I'll be going through each of these uh, as we meet them. To start off with the first part here, we take the thermal data, which I've highlighted what we have, and we're going to draw the table as you would normally do. So the component or the element, the conductivity, the resistivity, uh, the thickness, and the R. The only thing that was in this question that was a little bit different from uh, other years, uh, the wall, uh, which is a cinder block, uh, there is no allowance for that. The only allowance for it is in the resistivity, uh, or resistance rather, here we have where I'm putting them in at the start. Other than that there, even though it gives you the thickness, there was no conductivity or resistivity given for that. And the other elements that we have here, I'm putting in just as we meet them on the, uh, uh, on the, uh, the thermal data. I'm putting in the conductivity and the resistivities here as we're given them from the, the data as well and then we've just uh, to put in the, si the sizes in millimeters so just make sure you don't it's easy enough to make a mistake in that there just make sure you don't do that so I'm just showing there the way that you would put one meter as 0 0.000 and making sure that you transfer in each of the bits of data from the thermal data into the table so to start off with here we have two two uh, two formulas you're either multiplying the resistivity by the thickness or you're dividing the thickness by the conductivity as shown above and I haven't done it on the calculator here just to speed the thing up uh, as I've done them in other videos and it's easy enough to follow that there add up your total R and then 1 over total R or RT is going to give you your U value and that is the first part of the question normally accounts for uh, nearly half of the marks of the full question and just at the end I just like to highlight my answer as usual so just recap on that there you have the two formulas you're multiplying a resistivity by the thickness or you're taking the thickness and dividing it by the conductivity to get your R and adding them all up so for the B part of the question uh, we were given uh, a new U value so it's proposed to upgrade the wall and you can see it here and it's by adding on insulation to that. So all I'm writing down is the two U values, the one that we're after calculating, uh, and then the one that we're actually looking to achieve. And we can go back a step to the resistivity, or the resistance, and uh, we have it from the table before, and to work out what the resistance is for 0 0.15, you just put one over it, and it gives us 6.666. The difference between these two R's then, I just take one from the other, and it leaves me with 5.5166. And to improve the U-value in that wall, that's the resistance that we have to achieve. So I'm just going to draw out a small table, even though this wouldn't be absolutely necessary. And then what we're adding on here is the um, expanded polystyrene. And from the earlier part of the question as well too, we have this conductivity value for the uh, expanded polystyrene, which I'm highlighting here. And it's given in the question, we just don't know the thickness. So we go back to the formula with the thickness and the conductivity. And you can see I'm writing it out here. And all I do is if I'm dividing one side, I take it over to the other side. So I have to multiply it when I take it over. So I multiply by the conductivity. The, res the resistance by the conductivity will give me my thickness. And it's in meters, so I change it to millimeters. So it's 204 millimeters. As simple as that. And for the part C of the question, we're asked to calculate the cost of heat lost annually. So we're given, uh, I'm going to break it down into two sections here. The very first part here we have to work out is the rate of heat, lo of heat loss. And the formula for that there is you multiply your area, in this case 140, by the U value, which is 0 0.15, uh, by the temperature difference, which is 12, 6 from 18. Multiply that out and it gives us a value which is measured in joules per second or watts per second, which is important because we break it down into the seconds. Then our second part that we're going to look at here is we're going to calculate the heating period. And we're told here it's 8 hours every day for 36 weeks of the year. So we'll start out with the seconds. So there's 60 seconds, 60 minutes, 
by eight hours of the day as given in the information here seven days of the week and for 36 weeks of the year so always I, I like to work it for always from the seconds so as I don't miss anything out as I'm going along and whatever you're given in the data of the question is what you use there multiply it out it's normally a fairly big figure and that's breaking it down into seconds so now because I've got seconds in the heating period and the rate of heat loss I can use the two of these here now to calculate the amount of kilojoules that are used because it's joules per second that we have from our first calculation. So there's two parts to this here if you wanted to you could work out just the joules and then take the kilojoules I'm just working it in one here to get the kilojoules used for the, the heating period so 252 multiplied by our 7,257,600 seconds put that over a thousand and calculate that out and it's going to give us another fairly large figure of 1,828,915.2 and that's kilojoules that's all important there the kilojoules and you'll see now from the other second half of that part of the question here I've highlighted it here again you've got look at the uh, calorific value of oil above here uh, to work out what the, cal the number of litres are, we're told it's 37,350, which is normally fairly standard as it's used. And we're going to divide our number of kilojoules for that heating period by the 37,350 to work out how many litres that we have. So we're calculating the number of litres. And when we divide that out, we get 48.967 litres. And it's a fairly straightforward thing again. We've got 98 cent per litre, as you can see from the information given in the uh, question. We know what that that's, that's your calor calorific value for one. We've worked out now how many litres are required for that heating period. So the cost is simple as working, multiplying the cost of 0 0.1 or 0 0.98 cent by the 48.967 litres. And that gives us our cost, which is 47 euro and 99 cent. And I always like to highlight us at that at the very end as well. So it's all the same steps as before. I go through some of these questions uh, in earlier videos. Uh, I take a little bit more time and uh, working through them with the calculator. If you're a little bit uh, lost on, on the speed of this particular video, but the format is pretty much the same. It, the big difference in this type of question from other questions was probably the bit at the start where the cinder block you're given the thickness of it but you didn't have to include it in the table because you were given a resistance for it and then everything else is pretty much standard fair then after that you've got your you calculating the new u value you work them back to the resistances get the differences and then the last part then is the uh, rate the the cost the cost uh, of the heat lost annually which is a fairly standard one as well too so if you're stuck in any of those, look back to some earlier videos or just slow this one down and look at the calculations we worked out. Hope it helps out.